subscribers, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network, and that's autohunter.com, classiccars.com, and the journal. We are here with Barrett Jackson at the 2022 Las Vegas Auctions. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about this little bubble car behind me. This is a 1958 BMW i 300. And that 300 stands for the fact that this has a 298cc one-cylinder engine producing a whopping 13 horsepower. So if you thought you were fast, watch out. Now, this car, if you can't tell from its sort of egg light shape, is often referred to as the bubble in a sort of very loving manner. Now, the car wasn't actually originally designed by BMW. The car was originally designed by ISO out of Italy. And what happened was, with just years of various production and things, eventually the car was starting to be licensed out to all sorts of places. It was licensed out to Spain, licensed out to uh, other places in Italy, licensed out to Germany, licensed out to the United Kingdom. Pretty much anybody that wanted another small option for civilian cars, the car was being licensed out to. So much so that by 1962, when production ended, they had ended up building over 160,000 of these cars, like you see here behind me. Now, this car is really special. This car has just gone through a very comprehensive restoration. It is an award-winning car with only 13 miles on the car since the original restoration. Now, obviously, in my opinion, this is one of the more interesting colors, being the fact that this car is red and white. And with this super awesome refrigerator door we have on the front, even with the handle, um, you can see that the car is quite a unconventional way of getting in the car and the steering wheel and some of the other mechanisms are actually connected from the way you look in behind the car here and so you can see that this car actually has a four-speed transmission as well so the original engine for these cars actually came from the bmw motorcycle starting with 250 cc's working their way up to the 298 cc engine and then even going up to as much as 600 cc's for some of the final iterations of the car so on the side here you'll see the mirrors here barely fit up past the regular headlights. You have the most obnoxious tiny wheels that are tiny enough to go ahead and rival that of what you might find for a Mini Cooper. And it, this car has even has some mud flaps and things. And a common misconception is that this is a three-wheeled car. But in fact, if you go ahead and look underneath, you'll actually see that there are two wheels under there. So this car still has four wheels, even though it looks like what you might find in a common three-wheel convention. Now, this car does have a lot of documentation, including all of the award-winning documentation showing how special this car is. It comes with this picnic basket. And then look at this super adorable little trailer it has. If you look at the front here, you can even see that it's trying its best to be its own little baby I set up. So that is a quick look here, just checking out this 1958 BMW Isetta. So if you guys like that video, go ahead and throw us a like. We'd really appreciate it. If you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss more content like this in the future. And if you want to find more cars like this, make sure you head to autohunter.com and classiccars.com. And we'll see you guys next time.